Charlie bit me, and it hurt. Hi, I'm Harry. You may remember me from the internet spiral sensation, Charlie bit my finger. Well, maybe not. That was some time ago, and things have changed since then. Actually, a lot has changed. Some people think we got rich and famous from that video. Well, yes and no. See, we were just kids back then, and we didn't know any better. Especially Charlie. We traveled the world showing people how Charlie could bite my finger, and it got old fast. One time, Charlie bit my finger so many times, and one day, my fingernail fell off. Poor Charlie, imagine sticking a nailless finger in your mouth. We were so busy going everywhere, nobody noticed Charlie didn't talk. Actually, nobody noticed all Charlie did was bite. After years of this and the fame had worn down, Charlie became a nuisance for my parents. And one day, Charlie disappeared. My parents said he went away, and I didn't know any better, but I knew something was up. And after some years, the money dried up, and my parents argued more and were fairly miserable. Then one night, they left me with the sitter and never returned. So after I reached the ripe old age of 18, I decided to search for my brother. Have you seen my brother Charlie? Piss off! The only bit of information I have, an old picture of Tyson. That's right, Mike Tyson. Apparently he operates a Biter's Anonymous help group. Well, that's where we start. Charlie? I, I remember Charlie. He, he was an unreformed Biter. His, his parents sent him to me. At first they were apprehensive because of my past incidences, but I, I assured them that, that I, I was reformed. But that Charlie kid, man, he started a biting riot with all the children. I wanted to knock his little teeth out, but he was like five. I, I just think he needs reform school. Bite is anonymous. It's strange to think a grown man ends up biting another man. It's like we fall back on our natural instincts when trapped like prey. There's not much of a roadmap for life, just what people tell you. Do this, do that. Like the blind following the blind, really. You try to make sense of it all. I remember Charlie, years ago. His parents requested all his teeth removed. He was a cereal biter. Such beautiful teeth. I can never destroy such a beautiful mouth. I suggested they board him instead. They took him somewhere north. Suction? Boarding school! How to solve a biting problem? Remove the bite. Seriously? How about you face the fact that you created the situation? You guide us. We are the fools. We follow your lead, your rules. Need to accept the blame for your actions. Hey, <laughs> down there. Oh, I used to love Charlie. He was such a good dog. He used to love to gnaw on my leg. I had him for years until I sold him to a young gentleman. Um, I think his name was uh, Kink. Simmer down. A dog? You think it was a bloody dog? My parents sent him to a kennel? The blind may seem out of sorts, but deep down, he acquired a sixth sense. I always figure the more challenged you are, the more you have to teach the world. Helen Keller once said, the highest result of education is tolerance. Imagine that. Lessons from the blind, deaf, and mute. On this journey of life, Charlie was abandoned. Someone else's problem. Or at least someone wanted him. Hopefully Mr. Kink treated him well. Kinkman? Who's Kinkman? Charlie, yeah. Yeah, I remember Charlie. I got him from a pound. Didn't know much about him except for he's kind of famous. Didn't talk much. Kind of like a pet. To bit my bloody nipple off. Sold him to a pub. Uh. Freak. His nipple. There are all walks of life in this world, and just because some accept the strange ways doesn't mean they lack empathy. I mean, he was attacked. Obviously, Charlie's lacking any sort of education or parenting, and he is relying on his natural instincts. I'm sure his nipple looked like a worm, perhaps. Maybe Charlie was playing a fishing game. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy. Ah, yes, Charlie. Uh, Charlie, I got him from the clink. 
I heard he'd be good for the business, but uh, he used to always eat the fish, the heads of the fishes, and that was very bad. Uh, so we had to say no fishes for in the bar. Hey, you got fish? No, no fish in the bar. No fish in the bar. So yeah, uh, Charlie was a good guy, but uh, he ran away. I think he went to the circus or the freak show or something like that. Chips, no fish, please. From one circus to another. Fish heads? Maybe he was trying to say something about the nipple. And without the ability to express yourself, the struggle to follow any rules becomes increasingly harder. You can't read, can't write, can't speak. Maybe the circus was the best thing for Charlie. I didn't read the circus for Dummy's book, but neither did Charlie. We had a great clown. We traveled around from city to city and uh, always making the small children laugh. We did not know that he was biting them afterwards. Till one day, a policeman come around, grab him by the ear to take him off. So we set the asylum now. It's probably the best place for the lad. It's, uh, it's probably the right thing to do, you know? Clown? Asylum? Who would have thought? Empathy from where you least expect it. It's the people who don't follow the others that seem to have developed a deeper understanding of the human experience. If we all follow each other, we all become the same. How do we grow as a people? Life is pretty short to just follow someone else's rules. I'm getting closer and I might finally get an answer and be able to see my brother again. Charlie suffers from acute biting syndrome, which, left untreated, manifests itself into a form of communication. Charlie's biting was a reinforced behavior brought upon by his infamy, although Charlie experienced it as a positive. It's classic conditioning, and it is possible to reverse. See your biter! Conditioning! Might be able to bring Charlie home. Charlie needs love and care of a supportive nature and with therapy to be taught how to express himself without biting. But you will have to convince a judge of that. Me convince a judge? Authority is not what I'm good at. Following other people's rules just because? Why should I not ask to free Charlie? What's he going to say? No? Well, a no is free. Like Charlie should be. Sir, might you free Charlie? No. That's it! That's what I've got to do! Free Charlie! And so there you have it. I finally found my brother, and he is locked away like an animal. Society created him, and he just did what he was told. And society didn't like the end result. Life has a way of balancing things out, and sometimes what you think is cute or great is tragic in the end.